Hi, my name is Dallas Glass. I'm an avalanche forecaster and a member of the area instructor trainer team. There are three ingredients required to have an avalanche. Unstable snow, a trigger, and avalanche terrain. Removing any one of these ingredients eliminates the possibility for an avalanche. While we can't influence the stability of the snow, we can use our understanding of how it varies over time and over the terrain to better understand where it's dangerous. Always check your local avalanche forecast to understand avalanche hazards for the day and how they will vary over the terrain. Avalanche danger can change by elevation. Avalanche centers often use specific elevations or descriptors such as below, near, and above treeline to communicate how the hazard changes. These are not hard and fast lines. These elevation bands help you, the traveler, anticipate how the danger may change as you ascend or descend the mountains. And often the danger changes gradually over the landscape. Use your altimeter watch or a GPS to keep track of your elevation. These terms use the general presence or absence of trees over large areas to help you recognize a change in elevation and are not specific to any individual slope. You may find open slopes well below tree line. The direction a slope faces relative to the sun and wind has a profound impact on the formation of the snowpack and the presence of potential unstable snow. Determining which direction a slope faces is a crucial backcountry skill. If you're new to the backcountry or just new to an area, it's a good idea to spend time regularly checking aspects to help keep yourself oriented and to determine how the snow varies over the terrain. Avalanche forecasts often highlight avalanche problems by aspect. By understanding which direction a slope faces, you can more easily locate the avalanche problems within the terrain. You can measure the aspect by using your compass or an app on your phone or watch. To measure aspect, stand with your back to the slope, place your compass or phone flat in your hand, and read the aspect in front of you. Keep in mind that slopes are not always perfectly uniform planes. Consider the overall aspect of a slope, but also pay attention to smaller features that may behave differently than you expect because they're on a slightly different aspect. The avalanche forecast is gonna give you lots of information about the expected avalanche danger, the characteristics of this unstable snow, and where it's likely within the terrain. Even so, make sure to keep your eyes open for simple clues that unstable snow may be present. The most obvious sign of unstable snow and avalanche hazard is signs of recent avalanches. This is a clear sign that avalanches can occur and unstable snow likely exist on similar slopes. Cracks that initiate at the tip of your snowshoe, ski, or snowmobile and that shoot across the snow surface indicate unstable conditions. You may hear or feel whomping, a term that describes the sound of a weak layer collapsing under a traveler's weight. These are the unstable snowpack failing under you the trigger. Like recent avalanches, they are clear signs of unstable snow. When it comes to the snow, Big changes in the weather often mean big problems or unstable snow. Recent significant new snow or being out while it's snowing heavily should put you on alert to expect unstable snow. The avalanche forecast might talk about storm swabs or the danger within the new snow. Winds move snow from windward slopes and deposit it on the lee side and can create a cohesive swab that may avalanche. Wind blowing across a mid slope feature can have the same effect. Look for plumes of snow at ridge tops, cornice growth, snow blowing off of trees, and rippled or very snow surfaces. The forecast might talk about wind transported snow and advise you to avoid leeward or drifted sides of ridges or features that stick up into the wind. Rapid warning from the direct sun, warm temperatures, or rain increases the avalanche hazard. Signs that snow is becoming unstable due to warming include pinwheels or roller balls on steep slopes. Exercise extra caution with warming right after a storm. When stronger snow overlies weaker snow, there's an increased avalanche hazard. This condition is often reported in avalanche forecast or by field observers conducting snow profiles or snowpack tests. Follow the advice given in the avalanche forecast, even if you don't see direct signs of instability yourself. We can't influence the stability of the snow, but we can use our understanding of how it varies over time and over the terrain to better understand where it's dangerous. Always start with your local avalanche forecast to understand the avalanche hazards for the day and how they will vary over the terrain. 
Use a process each day you're out in the mountains to manage your risk and maintain awareness of the hazard. Choose terrain that's appropriate for your group and for the conditions.